Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the One Pot Wonder. Um, today is session six, class one. So we are coming to the finishing gate here pretty soon. So um, for the next six weeks, we'll be together doing some different cooking, and we're going to enjoy this program. Um, so before we get started, I just want to put a big shout out to our sponsors and volunteers. And uh, so the Luckbridge Foundation um, has been generous enough to give us a grant to be able to provide this program. And we couldn't do it without them, so thank you so much for your support. And um, the um, Pincher Creek Community Church, uh, which used to be the Baptist Church, has graciously donated their kitchen to us and to be able to, um, and the foyer as well, to be able to do our, our um, hampers and get bags ready for you guys. So a big thank you to the members here. Um, also, the Food Center has been our sidekick. They've been so, so supportive with us and um, kind of help us with everything that they can. Um, Today's meal, they've donated all the beef for you and um, some of the beans. So um, again, great big thanks to Teresa and the board members over there. Um, also to uh, Pagani Child and Family Services, we have three volunteers that come out each week that have been with us right pretty much from day one. Um, <clears throat> speaking of day one, uh, we have run 18 weeks of programs already and six week intervals um, being able to reach many, many families and um, we're feeling pretty blessed to be able to do that. So thank you so much, you guys, for everything. Um, so, uh, and then we also have behind the camera is Kayla Ray X. I always say her name wrong um, and so she's kind of my sidekick and she does all the behind scenes stuff with me so um, thank you to you as well Kayla um, and I guess I don't think we're missing anybody um, but we'll get started. Today we are going to be doing chili. It's a pretty basic recipe and it's kind of filling. So um, in your food bag, you're going to have all the ingredients, a recipe, and you will have access to Facebook on Messenger. We're gonna build a group um, after we're done this video. We're gonna build a group and you can join in on that each week so that you can see this video ask any questions, show some pictures to us. Um, if you have any suggestions for cooking or you want to know something about food or why your recipe didn't work or what was good about it. So it's just kind of to just build a, a support group for everybody to have a little bit of fun too. So I hope that you guys are gonna enjoy it. Um, so we're gonna get started. I'm gonna get the the ground beef on to cook and then we'll meet you over at the stove. So I have a helper today and this is Marlena. Marlena? Hi. <laughs> so Marlena's gonna help us cook and um, so we've just broke down the hamburger and started to brown it and I do recommend that you do the hamburger first um, and you'll see that there's lots of juice that comes off of the hamburger from being frozen. So I do recommend that you take that off and just strain it off because otherwise you'll have greasy chili. Um, the other thing that I do recommend is that you wash your beans before you put them in because the beans in the can, you don't have to do it with pork and beans, but just the kidney beans or the black beans, whichever beans you have. Um, just wash them off because they have a real film on them that is, um, they, they sit in the juice in the can. So just wash those off before putting them into your chili as well. Um, so we're going to let this cook a little bit more, but I'm going to have Marlena, um, we got some chopped onions and some chopped garlic. So we're going to put that into the pot and stir it in to blend the flavors and let that cook for a bit. There you go, my dear. Yay. 
and we'll put the onions in too. All of it? Yeah. You betcha. And we'll just stir it up and we're gonna let that cook for a little bit and then we'll start to add our other ingredients. Okay, so we've strained the hamburger from any of the water and kind of the fatty um, liquid. And we've um, washed the beans so they're ready to go. And so now we're gonna compile um, some stewed tomatoes. These ones are chili seasons. So I recommend that you put these in first before you add any chili powder so that you can determine your strength of um, chili flavor that you like. Um, and then we're gonna add the pork and beans and some green peppers. So Marlena's gonna just put it all into one pot and we'll stir it up. And then we're going to add, we'll see how much, uh, we might need to add a little bit of water to it, but we'll see. But you can go ahead and put it all together. Okay, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll be your can collector. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. Oh, wow. okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to make this at home. just add about um, let's start with about just about a tablespoon so we're just gonna add this in and stir it up and then we're gonna let it cook for a little bit so when you're looking at your recipe you're gonna notice that there's some scratched off ingredients um, those are ingredients that you can add. You can kind of improvise. So in this recipe that I've sent with your bag, um, it uh, called for cumin powder and onion powder, tomato paste, which are all unnecessary. Um, you can add some Italian seasoning if you like. Um, it's entirely up to you. Um, the other thing that you could improvise with is if you want it to be really Mexican, you could buy uh, like some corn chips and you can add some sour cream and some green onions on top um, just to kind of give it an extra, extra flavor. Um, we didn't include that in your bag today, but um, it's, it's kind of a, another version of chili as well. You can... You can add bacon instead of your hamburger. You can add turkey. You could, you could do so many variations with this. So it's kind of, a, I call it a goulash stew or kind of a chili stew because you can do so much with beans and various kinds of beans. You don't have to use a kidney bean or a pork and bean. You can use um, like any kind of lentil um, to kind of add to your, to your flavoring. So um, yeah, so we're going to let this simmer for a little while and then we'll be back to show you the end result. So, uh, we've had this chili simmering for about a half an hour and um, you'll know it's done. Like It's primarily just to let all of your, your ingredients kind of cook together and <clears throat> um, then your, your onions and your green peppers and your chilies 
like your beans are already pre-cooked so your meat's pre-cooked so it's um just to bring it together so that it the water kind of goes into a, a thicker liquid and yeah so you can just kind of taste it as you progress in your cooking for your spices like if you want it hotter or you could ask um, add hot sauce to it if you choose it's entirely up to you um, so yeah so this is our end result and we're gonna enjoy I hope you do as well take care be safe and we'll see you next week